Today we're going to talk about a very special animal, the panda bear. You may have seen pictures of panda bears before, they're black and white and have round, fluffy ears. They're native to China and are known for their love of bamboo. But did you know that panda bears are endangered? This means that there are not very many of them left in the world and they need our help to survive. There are two types of panda bears, the giant panda and the red panda. Today, we're going to focus on the giant panda. Giant pandas are the larger of the two species and can grow to be about 4 to 5 feet tall and weigh around 200 to 300 pounds. They have a unique diet that consists almost entirely of bamboo, which they eat about 30 pounds of each day. So why are panda bears endangered? There are a few reasons. One of the main reasons is habitat loss. Panda bears need a specific type of bamboo forest to live in, and these forests are disappearing as more and more land is being used for agriculture and urban development. This means that there is less and less space for panda bears to call home. Another reason panda bears are endangered is because of poaching. Poaching is the illegal hunting or capturing of wild animals. Some people hunt panda bears for their fur, which is highly valuable on the black market. This is a big problem because there are not very many panda bears left to begin with, so every time one is killed, it makes it even harder for the species to recover. So how many panda bears are left in the world? It's hard to say for sure, but estimates put the number at around 1,800 to 2,000. This might seem like a lot, but it's actually a very small number when you consider that panda bears used to be found all across China. Now, they are only found in a few small areas in the Sichuan, Shanxi, and Gansu provinces. But there is some good news. Conservation efforts have been successful in increasing the number of panda bears over the past few decades. In the 1980s, there were only around 1,000 panda bears left in the wild. Thanks to conservation efforts, that number has increased by about 800. So what can we do to help panda bears? One thing we can do is learn more about them and spread the word to others. The more people know about panda bears and their situation, the more likely it is that people will want to help. Another thing we can do is support organizations that are working to protect panda bears and their habitat. These organizations work to protect panda bear forests and help panda bears that are injured or orphaned. We can also make small changes in our own lives to help panda bears. For example, we can reduce our use of paper products, since bamboo is often used to make paper. We can also recycle paper products to help reduce the demand for new bamboo. Finally, we can be a voice for panda bears and speak up for their protection. We can write letters to our elected officials and ask them to support conservation efforts for panda bears and their habitat. In conclusion, panda bears are a special and endangered species that need our help to survive. By learning more about them and supporting conservation efforts, we can make a difference and help protect these amazing animals for future generations. Thank you for joining me today and I hope you now have a better understanding of panda bears and their situation. Like the video and remember to subscribe to our channel.